Okie doke. <clears throat> Last but not least, we are going to add an assessment that actually captures data for us and puts it in an Excel spreadsheet, okay? In SMART, it's called a response assessment. And we've already done a shout it out, right? And we're calling that a real true formative assessment. It's also a questioning tool, brainstorming tool, because it's, you ask the question out loud and then you your students quickly respond to it and their answers pop up on the screen. Response is a little bit different. So again, I'm gonna go down here to my blue plus sign and select response. Okay, now here I actually create questions. So I'm going to keep it very, very simple. I'm going to add three quick questions, multiple choice. Okay, today is, I'll say today is what day? Okay, today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. So <laughs> even though when you watch this, it may be a different day. Uh, today is Wednesday. Okay. Now by default, it's always going to make the first question the correct answer. I'm sorry, the first answer the correct answer. Don't worry because it'll um, randomize this when the questions are being delivered. You also can use images over here if you want to. Keep in mind, if you use the images, they have to be saved on your computer. This is not a search for images function, okay? So I now add another question by clicking on that. This time we'll do true or false. We'll say Monday is a holiday, true or false. It actually is true because this upcoming Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So again, it may be a different <laughs> date when you're watching this video, but as of right this moment, that is a true question. And then I'm going to add one more question. And this time I'm going to make it a poll or opinion question. My favorite day of the week is, and then, um, your students just enter their answer, right? And you click next. And you'll see you can add a title, days of the week, and instructions if you need to, and select finish, and select finish. Now, on this one, I'm going to show you actually what it looks like when a student um, takes their response. Okay, so I'm going to click on finish editing, which will automatically put me into delivery mode. Um, so you'll see my class is running live. So I'm going to go to the response and I'm going to start it for the class. Now I'm going to open an in, a quick incognito window. And if you'll remember, that allows me to log in without the internet remembering who I am. So I'm just going to quickly join as a guest to 986-826. Click next. Christy, join as a guest. I may have to restart it. I can't remember to be honest. No, it put me in there. Okay, good. Today is what day? Remember we said Wednesday. Now you click the next button. Monday is a holiday. That is true. Oh, and you know what? It didn't take my third question because I did not um, remember I did an opinion poll and I didn't put any answers in there and I should have. Sorry about that. So it only took the first two questions. That's okay. It's going to work the same way. My students have to submit their answers and then submit again. Once their answers are submitted, we're going to go back to the teacher screen. Okay. And we will end the activity. Now we're going to do end and review. Now remember, on these activities within your wizard where you can create your games or your previously, uh, previously created activities, anything that says devices required, remember that you can only do that when it's live, when we're delivering this lesson live. I couldn't put this in my Google Classroom and have my students answer it because I have to start the test. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Remember our pro tip, anything that says devices required means it can only be delivered live. Okay, so um, I go, I can see my review. I can see if I need to reteach. I can, um, um, you know, I get a little pie chart. Of course, there was only one student who answered this, but we can review those questions. But now if I want to save this data, I simply click on export results. And when I do that, it creates an Excel spreadsheet. 
it creates an Excel spreadsheet, which is opening on another window. As soon as that opens up, I'm going to drag it into the, the recording here. Okay, here we go. So it creates this Excel spreadsheet with my data and I can change and manipulate my data as I need to, or uh, put it in the right format so that I can upload it to my online gradebook. So when I say summative, even though the description of response is formative because it's limited in its question types, when I say summative, this is the reason why I say that, because it actually captures the data and does the grading for me. Uh, when I'm delivering a live lesson and my students are using a device. So there we go, there's response in a nutshell. Um, this is the last of the features. Y'all be sure to let me know if there's any, let Ms. Lancaster know if there's anything else you want me to record for you, okay? Um, give me a shout uh, through Ms. Lancaster and we'll get it recorded and added to your playlist. Y'all take good care.